This is the Russian flag, but ever since it invaded its neighbor Ukraine, some Russians have started using this other flag, a white, blue, white, bicolor, to represent a different kind of Russia, one with which they can agree. But what is the meaning behind this flag? Where did it come from? And what is the symbolism which is encapsulated within it? Let's find out in today's video. Now, if you're interested in the actual history of the Russian flag, then you can check out this video, which I made a while ago. But basically to sum up where it comes from. In 1700, this had become the official flag of Russia at the time. It was used on merchant vessels before that, but in 1700, it became the national color. Although sometimes you also saw variations with the coat of arms, so with this double-headed eagle also on top, but normally on the sea, it was just used as the plain colors. And in 1705, it became the official flag for Russian merchants. Now, while it was a copy of the Dutch flag in many ways, it also did take on a new significance for the Russians, as each color had its meaning. So the white was for God, the blue was for the king, and the red was for the people or for the nation. Coming back to the present, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, this flag was first unveiled on the 28th of February 2022. It's not entirely clear who first created it. Some of the names that come up are based on Russians who were living in Berlin at the time, one of those being Kai Katonina, and another who went by the pseudonym of Asse Jun. It's believed that they created the flag together with various inspirations for the symbolism behind it. Now, what is this symbolism? Why have they decided to create this flag? Well, very helpfully for us, there is actually a website called White Blue White, which describes exactly what they were doing. In a tweet, Asse Jeune tweeted out saying that in Russian, but to translate into English, the beautiful parliamentary Russia of the future does not yet have a symbol. How do you like this flag? The Sovietized, without blood, the cult of war, and the admixture of imperial ambitions. So obviously the big differences between the modern Russian flag and the new flag, which is based on that flag, is the removal of the bottom third, the red stripe, which it's already been associated with bloodshed, as it said in that tweet. Furthermore, the reason why white has been included is that white is an internationally recognized symbol of peace, thing for example of the white poppy or of the white dove of peace, but also because this design closely reflects the flag that is used by protesters in Belarus against the Belarusian government. The big difference, of course, being that the central stripe on that Belarusian flag is red, whereas this one is blue. Now, the other change is slightly more subtle, and that is in the shade of blue which is used. The modern Russian flag uses a darker shade of blue, whilst this one uses azure, which is slightly lighter than that used today. This is partially because it's based on the older form of the Russian flag as it was used in 1991, following the fall of the Soviet Union, a period which was full of hope for the Russian people that a better future was coming, where dictatorship, authoritarianism, and the chaos of the previous year would be left in the past. Of course, as well, we have the fact that the Soviet Union's flag was very famous for being red, the color of communism and socialism. And so the reference to de-Sovietization or decommunization is to the fact that this red stripe, which of course lingered on the old Russian flag, could be related to that old Soviet flag. But by removing it, that they were actually harking back to an older history in Russia one which goes back to the Novgorod Republic, which was established in the 13th century. Novgorod, the city, had actually been founded by people we might call Vikings today, people coming from Scandinavia who had intermixed with various Baltic and Slavic peoples, becoming known as the Rus in this period. Afterwards, they broke away from the Kievan Rus, the larger state based on Kyiv, the city, of course, the capital of Ukraine today, and they created uh, a perhaps slightly more democratic state than other states around them, although they, that it remained the Middle Ages, so it wasn't entirely democratic as we would recognize it today. And indeed, if one looks at the flag of Veliki Novgorod, which is the name of the, the current province, I believe, in that area, you can see again, that is clearly another inspiration for the white as your white flag that is being used by the anti-war protesters. Now, we often will see this flag at anti-war protests. They've been seen in numerous countries around the world at protests calling for the end of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, where it is previously 
uh, or a lot of the time also seen together with, of course, the Ukrainian flag and indeed the Belarusian protest flag against the Belarusian government, as well as these are all in a way connected to fighting against authoritarianism in Russia. Now, the Russian government has actually responded to the creation of this flag. There were some reports that uh, this flag, uh, the protest flag, had been used at anti-war protests in Russia, which of course have been made illegal, and so they have banned the flying of this flag and the using of it as criticism of the Russian war in Ukraine. Now, what's interesting as well is that this flag has actually officially been adopted by the Freedom for Russia Legion, which is a group of Russian, mostly former soldiers, that are now fighting on the side of Ukraine. They have adopted this flag, and so it is also being used on the battlefields of Ukraine against the Russians at the same time. If you're interested in that, then you can find my five minute history on the Russian Freedom Legion and do check out my other videos on Ukraine and flags if you find it interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video about the new Russian protest flag. What do you think we should call this flag actually? Because new Russian protest flag seems like a mouthful. Should we call it the Russian opposition flag? Should we call it something else? Should we call it the white, blue, white or WBW? Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's a nice flag? I know that on the website about the flag, they're saying, okay, this isn't meant to be a national flag project. So we don't want Russia to change its flag but rather this is meant to be an anti-war symbol calling for peace in Ukraine and indeed in other border regions where the Russian army has got involved. Let me know in the comments below, do you think that Russia, if at some point it does democratize in the future, should potentially adopt this flag or is it wishful thinking? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I have been Hilbert and this has been The Flag.